Hey, what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Now, as some of you might know, Hyperion aka Bifron has been released on the Microsoft Store version of Roblox, which is basically an anti-cheat. And as a result of that, you cannot currently use an executor on the Microsoft Store version of Roblox. Hopefully, there will be executors updating very soon and they will start working with the browser version as well as the Microsoft Store version of Roblox once again. And once that does happen, I will be sure to make an updated video on that. So make sure you're subscribed for that. However, as of right now, you can currently use executors on the Android version of Roblox. And the reason for that is because Hyperion has not yet been released on the Android version of Roblox and that will be happening very soon in around two to three weeks. But for now, you can use the executors on Android. So to use executors on Android, of course, you need an Android device. If you do have an Android device, then that's good. But if you don't, then you can also use your computer and pretty much use an emulator that will simulate the Android device. I will show you how that is done. So if you are using the computer, then simply follow this step. And if you are already on an Android device, then you can simply skip this step. So the first thing that you need to do is download something called BlueStacks. I will leave a link to it in the description. Once you do have it downloaded, you need to go ahead and open it there we go so once you do have blue stacks open it will look something like this and once you do have that open you can go ahead and simply minimize it and go into the first link in the description which will take you to my website now from there go ahead and click on the download button and that will take you to this page over here from there go ahead and complete these steps and it will take you to the final download destination from there go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you want to download it for me i'm going to choose my desktop and go ahead and click on save once you do do that you can go back to the download destination I've already got two copies of that so i'll delete that one so let's go ahead and double click that and open up the download manager once you do open that it should load up like this and go ahead and click on next it will give you a couple of offers it is completely up to you if you wish to install any of these let's go ahead and do that and there we go so once you do complete that it will give you the final download destination you can go ahead and paste that into the browser and choose wherever you wish to download the um, executor for me, I'm going to choose my desktop and there we go. So that will give you a link, um, a TXT file with a link. You can go ahead and copy that link and go ahead and paste that link back into the browser and that will give you the final download. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop once again and click save. There we go. So once you do have that installed, you can go back to your BlueStacks and just simply go ahead and drag and drop this into your BlueStacks and that will start downloading the app for you. It might take a couple of seconds and it should complete the download. So as you can see, it basically downloads Roblox, but it's a modified version of Roblox, which already has the executor on it. And it's completely keyless. You don't have to generate the key or anything like that. So let's go ahead and also go into settings and make sure you've got these settings on right here. You don't have to necessarily set the FPS to that. You can set this to a 60, but make sure you've got all of these settings and also these settings for the graphics um, and possibly these uh, settings for the display you don't have to have that you can put this let's go ahead and click on save and restart um especially for roblox that can destroy some of the pixels so i would leave it to medium so there we go so once you do have that installed and you've got roblox on there you can go into roblox and of course this is the same thing that you have to do if you are on an android device i will also make an updated video for android users so i will make a video where i'm recording from an android device so it is easier to understand but there we go. So once you do load into Roblox, you can simply log into your account. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right. And here we go. So from there, you can simply go ahead and choose any game that you want to go into. So, for example, I will load into this game right here and just give it a couple of seconds to load. Now, if it's your first time going into the game, it might also ask you to allow audio. So you can simply go ahead and click on allow. And the reason for that is if you are trying to use a mic, you will be able to do that if you click allow. So you can see that the mic does indeed work compared to the Microsoft Store version where the microphone was not an option. And yeah, so as you can see, the executor is here on the side. You can close out of it by clicking over there. And there we go. So we've got the symbol for Delta right there. And if you do click it, you can go into the script section and you can also upload your scripts. You've got some scripts here by default that you can execute. You've also got the script menu right here where you can find scripts and you can execute your own scripts over here. It does also show you your frames, your ping, and also how many players there are in the current network. Um, of course, you can also paste scripts from here. So if you click here, it will paste your current uh, clipboard. Now, if you go into the cloud, you can also search for scripts once again in here. So that is very, very convenient. And then, of course, you've got the settings page right here. So you've got auto execute by default. It is on and auto close. So if you click the X button, it will close the pop ups. Um, and also, you've got a bunch of different settings right here. So if you want to rejoin the current server, you want to join a smaller server, teleport to a new server. 
change the fps so if you want to change this to max fps you can also set it to max fps um, and also you can change the quality or the size of the actual icons now going down here this does also show your console output and once again if you close this menu it does minimize delta and yeah that's pretty much how you download and use the executor as you can see the game does run very very smoothly um, i'd say even better than the actual microsoft store version um, and of course yeah you definitely would have to use these settings over here that i've got enabled um, these would be the best settings to get you the best performance out of your computer in terms of playing Roblox and Bluestacks. I will be making updated videos on the executors once they do start working on the browser and the Microsoft Store version of Roblox. As of right now, I will continue to upload videos for the scripts on Android. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did like it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.